everybody. This is Robbie Gravely along with Worm, Stephen Gay, here on the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. Tonight, the Greer Yellow Jackets hosted the Spartanburg Vikings in week number one, game number two. The Vikings uh, jumped out to a 20 to nothing lead on the Greer Yellow Jackets at halftime, only to see Greer come back, make it a game, have a chance to perhaps tie it up at the end only to see the Jackets fall 20 to 12 tonight here at Dooley Field. Just once again, too many mistakes, like Coach Young said in the post-game interview. A lot of young kids trying to move them around. We got we got a, we got a jail as a unit. Quit making so many silly mistakes. Vikings got 20 points on 98 total yards. They got a four yard touchdown pass, five minutes to go in the first quarter. Made it seven to nothing. They added a couple of field goals, 28 and 45 yards by their fine kicker Harry Bishop, uh, to take a 13 to nothing lead. They scored with just uh, under a minute gone in the second quarter on a touchdown run by Mike Wanamaker. So that made it 20 to nothing. The score stayed that way all the way through the fourth quarter when the Jackets finally got things moving. Israel Rhodes a 20-yard run after a 39-yard run set them up in Spartanburg territory to make it 20 to six. And we talked about momentum and what an interesting thing it is. The Jackets at that point seized the momentum. All of a sudden Spartanburg couldn't move the ball and the Jackets started rolling. Well, coaches made some adjustments, put Darius Griffin at quarterback in kind of some wildcat situations. Um, that opened up some stuff uh, that helped tremendously. Um, Darius, Gr Darius Griffin, he is a quarterback, um, been playing receiver. But uh, gave him a spark, gave him a spark. Well, Jackets uh, got an 83-yard drive, got within a score when Griffin scored from the Wildcat on a six-yard run with 6.52 to play, made it 20 to 12. Greer got the football back late in the game at their own 15-yard line and had a pass right over there, Worm, that Cam Martin caught in Spartanburg territory with a minute to go. No official over there. One was on the sideline, the other one standing on the G. Was he in? Was he out? Coach Young said, I don't know. I'll have to look on film. Yeah. But he called it out, so he was out. Uh, so that kind of effectively ended the game. But almost a chance for Greer to, to really get this crowd excited. But they fall a little short, 20 to 12 to the Vikings. Now next week, Jackets have their first road game. They'll play at Westside. At Westside uh, on the Astro Turf, um, very final facility over there. I'm not sure had heard what they did tonight, but they lost to Boiling Spring. They lost. Okay. Well, then you know, give some hope. <coughs> excuse me to the Jackets. Um, we're, we're coming together. I, th I saw some some very more positive positive things in the second half. Um, Coach Young, Coach coaches, they're gonna make some serious adjustments and some some move some guys around. Coach Young said it may be just the people we got in there. He said we're gonna have to look at some different personnel. So. Um, I have full confidence in those guys, and uh, they're they going to get together. Sims and Carr, player of the game for the Jackets tonight, Cameron Martin. Uh, Darius Griffin gave them a spark. Ian Jackson played great on that defensive front, but we went with Cam Martin. He never came off the field. Offense, defense, punt return team, kickoff team. I mean, he was never left the field tonight, and what a game he had. And he came that close yep. to really turning things around here tonight for the Jackets. Cam's just a football player. He wants to be out there. Uh, I'll follow him on Twitter. He wants to be out there. He wants to play at the next level. Um, coaches, if you're, if you're looking, this kid can play. Play anywhere on the field. Never comes off. I think he played every minute of, of, the, of every down tonight, special teams, defense, and offense. He deserved it. Jackets fall 20 to 12, <coughs> the 0 2 on the season. Remember, folks, these games are fun, they're important, they're big, but they don't get you in the playoffs. The region schedule is what gets you in the playoffs. Jackets building for that. Hopefully, getting the win column next week at Westside. We'll be on the air at 6 o'clock with the Grand South Bank Yellow Jacket Tailgate Show on WPJM, yellowjacketsports.net, and hope to see you there live. But if not, we got it for them. We'll be there. Good night.